Hey everyone, this is David. Welcome back behind the velvet rope. Let's just get right into it today because we are here with the one and only Sarah Farasia. Hi, David Yantiv. How are you, baby doll? You know, I'm still in New York and uh, it's a good day because, look, we've had some growing uh, pains here in the new place. And, uh, well, here's the thing. We have a fancy toilet. Now, it's one of the Japanese toilets. And the good news is when you sit down, it uh, warms your ass. Now, you don't have to put it on the high, but I like it on the high. The other thing I love about it is, is when you're done and you just get up, like if you're going to sit on it, you got to keep flushing. But when you're actually done, you just get up and it flushes. Like if you're just going yes. once. Yes. I've used one. Yes. Right? And then the light in the middle of the night, we could turn the light. So it's a blue. So the to toilet glows blue when it's dark. So we have a lot of benefits. The negative is, oh. is there are 10 frequencies and it picks up the neighbors. So when the neighbor flushes the toilet, your toilet in your home flushes. It's as if you have a ghost. So we were having that. We had it on seven. Now, I think since they fixed it this morning, we tried frequency seven. We tried frequency six. Now we're on frequency nine. And so far, you know, literally, it'll be like, we're sitting here and you're going to hear my toilet flush. I think we fixed the problem after a whole week of troubleshooting the toilet. So it's a good day. Wow. I love rich people problems. This is hysterical. Excuse by the way, me. Yeah. Excuse me. Uh, and by the way, these toilets, I, they just, I, everybody that has one, because they're like a $10,000 toilet, it just seems mm. like a nightmare. They're always, there's always something wrong. Always. Every, I have another friend that, long time like media her husband was a really big sales guy in dc for years they, and i stayed at their house one night and they have what they have one of those and it's like it just fucking talks to you all night long you're like shut up these things are they uh no thank you how about just a good old-fashioned loo you know that just has a powerful flush like that's what we need i think i do like the bidet I, I enjoy it has a, a, all that you could do the different positions so that you could do a water temperature. You could have a, a, a dark, like a, like a, it's so nice. Hot wash, a cold wash. I don't really use the bidet. It's not really you my, don't? it's very, no, you have to yeah. get it, but I love a bidet. It's just, everything is, much, you're just much fresher, you know, it's just a nicer, fresher feeling, but maybe I start nightmare. using they're it, girl. Always turning on, off. They're making noises. What a pain. All that money. All that money, darling. Listen, it is, it was, it came with the apartment. It's not like I, I, I did everything else in here except the bathrooms and the kitchens. We're going to do a tour at some point. I can't wait. You can it see so it. Stunning. You can see it. I love a New York apartment. It's just, it's looking so New York. And there's just that like neutral tone. Everybody in New York has a very modern neutral tones apartment darling and it's, it's the best I city can't wait. it's literally the best city in the world i told you this last time love it um jackson Brittany. okay so this is real this is like real now, real now we think it's real huh because oh, you and I'm i not, said you know look unfortunately you and i have been in this business for so long covering tlc shows covering Bravo shows, and you begin to have a level of skepticism with all of these individuals because there are certainly people who have played things up in the past and you know that they're doing it to stay on TV. Some seem so thirsty, but this is now this is real. This is real. I and agree. I, what do you, I mean, she apparently, Brittany wants nothing to do with him. You know, he's coming, he's out of the mental facility. He's filming allegedly. I thought he was fired. He ain't fired. But she I, has nothing to do with him. What do you think is going on? I, I think it was, you know, for someone that is so happy to be back on TV, I never understood the mental facility part now. Now, if you need it, you need it. But I just don't, you know, I with Jax, it's like you're going to walk away and go, no, now we learn you're coming out coming out just in time to film right so it's kind of like was that real i guess because a lot of people online don't necessarily they think it's a pr checking in checking out i mean how much of filming did you miss while sheena and sheena and lala are there but i'm not sure they're full-time cast members so let's slow down on that rumor 
I don't think that's confirmed at this point. Um, so I, I, do you think that's real that Jax went into rehab? You think he needed the mental health or was this like a publicity stunt for the show? That part of it. Just curious. Well, I just had Spencer Pratt on my show. The reality mm. screen, a long time. You know, obviously, we know the OG of reality. Spencer had a lot to say about these shows. Spencer says now, he says when he was on the hills and the princes of Malibu that he pitched famously Excellent. at Excellent. the beginning. You know, if you if somebody in the family was divorced or in rehab, that was like the end of the show. Like they they wanted family friendly that you portrayed like things were good. You could fight. But that was it. So he says now you have to have you have to have divorce. You have to have rehab. You have to have mental health issues. You have he basically says without those things. Now there is no interest in a show. So, and I have read that they are going to follow everything. Jack's and Brittany's separation. Jack's going into this mental facility. I don't know. I mean, do I think the it's as real on. as Rachel Levis is? No. Do I think the guy could have severe burnout and maybe this was three weeks where he's at a, you know, I mean, Shannon Bedore was just down in Palm Springs at a wellness retreat. So do I think burnout. it's- burnout? I mean, he's been back for like how many episodes after not working for how long? I don't know. Well, I think he has to have a redeeming storyline to some degree, right? Especially yeah. now that it seems they're really getting divorced. So if he's this asshole who went away and now he's working on himself and he's trying to win Britney back perhaps on season two and season three, you know, now we've got a storyline on our hands. So I, I, but you know, look, everybody, everybody shocks me. PK and Dorito. Now I'm thinking that's real. Yeah. Well, I think that's real. I mean, I, I used to always hear he was at the Beverly Hills Hotel. Uh, and by the way, Jax, don't try to win Brittany back if you don't want her back. Like, look, if you want to go out and just be a dog, yeah, go, go live your me. life. Like JLo and Ben. It's like, okay, here we are. Duh. Hashtag a duh. It ain't going to work. You both made a mistake again. Uh, just rip the Band-Aid off. I don't, we have read this, though, that she wants nothing to do with him. So uh, this, I think, is real. What a great, I mean, can't you see Dodie just being like, you're an asshole. You've always been an asshole. I'm with Brittany on this one. Sorry, dude. Like, I could see Dodie weighing in. Everyone, look at it. The whole cast is probably going to be Team Brittany on this one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, um... Yeah, I'm thinking, I know you want your son around all the time. I know you want the family unit, but can't have it both ways, dude. You can't want to live a single lifestyle. You see, take it from 